How many students do we have in the room today? Can you please raise your hands? A lot of you, amazing. And how many parents do we have here today? A few of you, wonderful. Though my talk today focuses primarily on the youth, the key lessons and ideas that I'll be sharing are also relevant to parents, educators, and anybody, anywhere. I'm Harpitha Pandian, an entrepreneur, an educator, and a passionate change maker. I, along with my twin brother, Harpit Pandian, have been working for the past eight years in order to make an impact in the lives of young people all around the world. There are 1.2 billion young people in today's world. 1.2 billion. Yet, we only see a handful of young achievers and leaders coming into the spotlight. What does it take to make a difference in this world? What does it take to be successful as a student? And what does it take to lead and inspire a community of people? Now, it's not rocket science. It's definitely not impossible. So then, how, you might ponder? Well, today, I'm going to be sharing with all of you a distinct blueprint for the youth. How young people can transform into young achievers and leaders. And to the parents here with us today, well, sorry parents, it's not 2050, we don't have a functioning time machine. Though you can't go back in time and use this blueprint for yourselves, you carry a greater responsibility, and that is sharing the key ideas of this talk with your own children. Now, the only questions that matter are the ones you ask yourselves. Many of you are probably wondering, so what's this groundbreaking secret blueprint to success? It's rather simple. Five critical questions. I'm going to tell you five critical questions that the youth must ask themselves in order to become young achievers and leaders. As I outline these questions, I'll also share my own enthralling story and show you how asking myself these questions has helped me make a significant impact on my learning journey. And finally, I hope to leave all of you with your own handy blueprint to success and of course, a sprinkle of inspiration in making a difference in this world. Let's start with question one on our blueprint. What are my skills and talents? Today, I might be an entrepreneur and an educator, but my story starts years ago at the age of two. Yes, at the age of two. Now, at the age of two, my brother and I shared an iPad. And yes, we didn't use this iPad to play games like Candy Crush, don't worry. Instead, we used this to play word games. One of the earliest skills and talents that my parents identified within us was our love for spelling and words. And it was this same passion that has set the foundation in our journey in entrepreneurship and education. Now, spelling is a talent that we pursued ardently. My twin brother and I created a curated word bank of over 50,000 words at the age of eight and we were champions at most state-level spelling bees across Australia. But one of the most profound turning points of my life is when we participated in a national spelling bee competition called the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Telecasted on TV, my brother and I were showcased as an inspiration to young people all over the world, not just for our exceptional spelling skills, but also for our majestic self-confidence that we exhibited being the youngest participants at the age of eight. So yes, while we definitely were not tall enough to ride roller coasters yet, we could spell words like fluxino hilly pilification from the back of our hands. And yes, that's an actual word in case you want to search it up on Google. But a key message that I want to share with young people here is to identify your skills and talents early on. We're all good at something, yet most of us fail to discover our own talents because we're so caught up in trying to be like everyone else. So much so that we forget to explore the road not taken. What do young achievers and leaders do differently? They're not afraid to be different. So identify and treasure your own unique skills and talents. Showcase your dexterity to the world, and you'll be amazed to see how the little opportunities and passions that you explore during your childhood will lead, yield you remarkable opportunities in your future. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the second question on our blueprint. How do I share my knowledge? 
There's a key difference between being a young achiever and a young achiever who creates change. A young achiever has unique skills and talents, but to be a young achiever who creates change, you need the ability to showcase your knowledge to the world. Now, to be a young achiever who creates change, you need to share your knowledge with others. The moment we returned back to India from Australia, my brother and I were invited to several schools in order to conduct spelling and language workshops for students. And it was during these sessions where we identified a significant skills gap in the language and communication competency. Now, my brother and I realized, OK, we can't visit every single school in India. How can I practically solve the problem I identified? How can I revolutionize the way of learning in this space? And this gave us the spark for a long journey ahead, entrepreneurship. Our journey of sharing knowledge led us to starting an EdTech Class Minds in 2019. Today, Class Minds has made an impact on over 8,000 young people from over 12 countries across the world. It gives us tremendous joy to see our vision in action. Now, there was a myriad of learning along the way. At age 12, my brother and I spent the summer at the Thai Young Entrepreneurship Program exploring entrepreneurship. I remember spending lunchtime alongside IIT and, and startup teams. And many people were quite perplexed. They took one good look at us and probably thought, who left their children here? But there were many experiences that shaped our entrepreneurial journey. But this journey would have never been possible if we hadn't wanted to share our knowledge with others. I encourage young people to ask yourselves, do I want to be just a young achiever or a young achiever who creates change? If you possess knowledge, let others light their candles in it. Let's move on to question number three on our blueprint. How do I make a mass impact? Now, good work gets the world talking. My brother and I are extremely grateful for the immense recognition we've received for our impactful work. We've been published in leading media, we've done several interviews, and we've been recognized on a global stage. What I want to highlight here is the title of a particular interview. There it was in big, bold, capital letters, 14-year-old twins pay income tax. Okay, I guess it made for a catchy title. And yes, we are pan card holders. But a key message I want to share with young people here is that while entrepreneurship and business is typically associated to profits and revenue, my goal was to also make a social impact. After my brother and I identified a crucial skills gap in our community, we realized that we had to uplift the students who needed these skills the most. We wanted to transform them into confident speakers and leaders. Through our social initiative, Youth Inspired Talks, in collaboration with Youth Exnora and Exnora International, we've conducted several impactful workshops for thousands of students at colleges, institutions, and government schools in rural places all across India. And it's during these sessions where I've seen the true transformation happen. It's very intriguing. We'd usually call out for volunteers at the start of our sessions. 800 students in the auditorium. Guess how many people came up? 100? 50? At least 25? No, just two people. Yet by the end of the very same session, we had over half of the auditorium wanting to come up to the front and share their ideas. You see, that's real change. Now, my brother and I didn't perceive running a company in high school alone as an achievement, because to us what mattered was running an impactful company. I encourage young people to ask yourselves, how do I make an impact in my own community? Start by making a change at your school, then your city, then your country, and very soon you will find yourself making a difference in this world. Let's move on to question four on our blueprint. What am I curious about? I have no special talents. I'm only passionately curious. Does that sound familiar? Now, we all commend Albert Einstein immensely for his brilliance, but many of us overlook the one major factor that helped him generate groundbreaking ideas, unceasing curiosity. Now, many young people today believe that they cannot achieve big things simply because they're not smart enough. You know, we have a tendency to look at smart people and go, yep, that could never be me. When I was 11, I was busy watching raindrops race down the car window. Am I right? I see some of you are relating to that. But yes, I'd like to ask you here, is it that you're not smart enough or not curious enough? Curiosity makes our brains more receptive to learning. It helps us create new and creative ideas. 
Now, without curiosity, it is rare to experience the joy of learning. So what do young achievers and leaders do differently? Well, they never stop learning. I encourage young people to ask yourselves every day, what do I want to learn more about? What am I curious about? I've always had a passion for science and innovation. No, I didn't find this passion within the pages of a verbose textbook or at a science fair at school. I grew up with it within the four tight-knit walls of my home. My mom sparked my passion for innovation. My mom has had type 1 diabetes for the past 16 years now. It's a rare condition and requires that she takes up to five or six injections every single day. And growing up, her resilience has inspired me to innovate. Because one innovative idea is all it takes to change lives for the better. One game-changing idea. This same principle has inspired me to keep learning and to explore the scope of technology and innovation. Now, over the past few years, I've done several courses in AI and machine learning. I've explored college-level neuroscience, and I've also worked on technological research projects, all from top universities in the world. Now, any young person can do these things, because these little achievements are not just the products of my intelligence. No, they are the products of my profound curiosity and passion for learning. Let's move on to the last question on my blueprint. How can I be career ready? Now, being a young entrepreneur has changed the way I look at the world, how you might wonder. As students, we are often told to study well, to do our best in school, and to prepare ourselves for the real world. Now, this is what the real world looks like for many young people today. <laughs> a perplexing maze like this one. Many young people go into the real world not knowing what they want to do, who they want to be, or what they are capable of. Hence, Navigating the maze of the real world can be very, very challenging. But in comparison, this is what the future looks like to me. A less perplexing maze. And how? Because I have a clear vision, some ambitious goals, and the confidence to pave my own path. Now, how do I have all of these things? Entrepreneurship. My journey as a young entrepreneur has equipped me with significant skills. The ability to network with professionals, the ability to communicate confidently, and the power to turn my ambitious ideas into reality. Now, being a young entrepreneur has also helped me develop significant life skills, such as time management and critical thinking. At age 12, my brother and I presented our first business pitch at the Thai Young Entrepreneurship Program. We also built a professional network of over 30,000 connections and a global community of 8,000 students by the time we were 15. And we made an impact on over 100,000 young people by the time we were 16. So yes, the real world doesn't seem so scary. This is where I encourage young people to go after your most ambitious dreams and aspirations. But how do I set effective goals for the future, you might wonder. There's a great paradigm I like to use for this, and it includes three key streams for students. The personal stream, the professional stream, and the social stream. These are streams that students should focus on in their future. Now let's start with the personal stream. The personal stream is where you focus on self-development, developing critical life skills that are needed in this 21st century, such as time management, leadership, critical thinking. The professional stream is where you focus on developing your knowledge and gaining practical career experience early on. Now, this is one of the best investments of time that a young person can make because it is the experiences that shape you throughout your childhood that are going to give you the confidence and that extra push to succeed in your future. And finally, the social stream. Now, I truly believe that success isn't just about what we accomplish in our own lives. It's also about what we inspire others to do. I encourage young people to contribute to social good so that you can experience the profound pride and liberation that comes with being a part of something so much bigger than just yourself. Now, the focus of my talk today was to provide a lucid blueprint for the youth, how young people can transform into young achievers and leaders. But I want to conclude today by sharing some key takeaways for some other significant people, those who play a pivotal role in the lives of the youth. Mata, Pita, Guru, Devam, as the popular Sanskrit phrase goes, parents, teachers, and God. My key message for parents 
is to let your children explore the world based on their own passions. Yes, support their endeavors, guide them on the right path. But in this ocean of life, success doesn't lie in catching fish for your children. It lies in teaching your children how to catch fish. And I'm grateful to have parents who have supported my brother and I every step of the way and have also cultivated an independent learning environment for us. I'm also very thankful to my twin brother, Harpeth Pandian, for being my other half throughout this journey. Now, my key message for teachers is to keep instilling curiosity within young people. When we turn those little ideas that plague our minds into reality, we harness the ability to make a difference in this world, to create innovative things, and to leave our mark on this world. I'm extremely thankful to the teachers at my school, CPS Global, for their unwavering support. And finally, my last message for the youth, apart from the five big questions to ask yourselves. The world is your canvas, so go ahead, pick up your brush, and paint something extraordinary. Thank you.